What's up, YouTube? This is 2Raw4TV. Alright, so before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to a couple of subscribers for showing love to the channel. Much respect to the brother Eric Williams for the $20 donation via the Cash App. He says, love your content. Much respect to him. I believe that's the brother, well I know who he is. Shout out to him. For showing love to Two Raw for TV, aka Two Raw for Sports. I also want to give a shout out to the brother JJ Phantom, longtime subscriber as well. Five dollar donation via the Cash App as well. And I got a video to do after this one. I gotta go on a rant about something, man. It's really pissing me off. Okay, and it's just a message to people who. Don't want to mind their own business. And um, I don't know what it's coming from. But anyway, I want to get into this video. Look, I know a lot of people have issues with LeBron James, right? About the media overstating his greatness, him not being the GOAT. But we can never deny that he is a great basketball player, one of the greatest to ever do it. You'll never hear me deny that. I just don't think he's the GOAT. But Trevor Ariza, who I guess is a former NBA player now, I don't think he's in the league anymore. Maybe he is, but I don't think he is. But anyway, he said the stupidest fucking shit just now, man. All right. He says that nobody has feared LeBron, okay? Now, I'm. this is how I look at it. What, I tend, what I'm saying is that players didn't fear LeBron the way they feared Jordan, Bird, Wilt, Kobe. I don't know what. Look, man, it's this guy. He's a Michael Jordan fan, man. And and that's cool. But he seems to hate anybody that's even remotely compared to Michael Jordan. He hates uh, Muhammad Ali. He he calls him a kitty diddler. Uh, He hates if you compare Kobe to him. He hates if you compare Wilt to him. You know, it's, it's it's like, damn, he's everything in a Jordan fan that you would hate in the dick licks. And I blocked him, but he keeps on making new accounts because he just feel like his opinion needs to be heard. You know, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. But anyway, this is what Trevor Ariza said. <laughs> Give me one second. When he dropped 52 on us in high school, you kind of just let him have it. You feared the guy who could go tween and pull up on you for 15 points a night more than you did LeBron. Those buckets cut deeper. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Look, are you serious? So you, you you feared J.J. Reddick is what you're telling me. You had more fear for J.J. Reddick than LeBron James. You had more fear for Kyle Korver than you did LeBron. Get the fuck out of here, man. Look, I I hear a lot of shit, and I be thinking, yeah, they got a point. But get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Fifteen points a night. Rex Chapman did better than that. Get the fuck out. 15 a night, and we're talking about in high school, but I'm just translating it to the pros. So you you feared goddamn, uh, you, you, you know, you, you had fear for goddamn prime, uh, nope, Dan Marley did better than that. Dan Marley was more than that. You had fear for B.J. Armstrong, is what you're telling me. B.J. Armstrong invoked more f- fear in you than LeBron James. Or the equivalency. I mean, that, that, that's one of the stupidest statements I've ever heard in my life. I get what he's trying to say, but he should have said 25 or 30 a night rather than a guy that might just go off for 52. Like, a, See, what he sh- this, this is what I would have said. Hey, you remember when Jamal Crawford went off on you guys for 52 points? Yeah. 
you know, yeah, he had 52 points that night. He, I, you got to give it to a Slutum. But, you know, he's only had four or five games of, of that in his career. I mean, I'd rather take him giving me 52 points once every every five or six years than the guy giving me 25 or 30 a night. Now, that makes sense. But LeBron, even if he ain't giving you 52, he giving you, for his career, 27, 7, and 7. That's every night. As opposed to a dude that's giving you 15 a night. Even in college, LeBron's numbers were better than that. I mean, excuse me, high school was better than that. What is he, what is he talking about? Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think.